January the 14th, 2019, it is. Boy, it's hard to be normal around these people. Uh, this is a re-recorded video, uh, and I hope it's going to be enough electricity power inside of this Android so I can complete. Uh, you probably hear this. It's about 5 o'clock right now. Uh, yeah, my watch is 5 minutes ahead. And I started this at 4 o'clock and the only thing I have is in, as soon as I open this gym here I got what you hear right there. Uh, kids blasting the, mu uh, blasting the TV and uh, you know obviously they would want me to go and video record this inside of the toilet so it would add a little bit more crazy effect. Uh, to their presence here really because the only one that is crazy they are uh, that's all that's all I can say these people are sickening really I'm sorry to say that but uh, got a lot of issues on my mind I don't really know where to start uh, I'm not happy about the whole thing for a whole variety of reasons. Right now, for instance, I cannot go and even charge this thing while I'm recording, so these people can blast a TV like this. Two kids, actually, and no place is available. This place is, I don't know, maybe, I, I have no clue how huge this place is, but this is just the way it is. Uh, they got for everything, but they don't have a place where you could go and study uh, sit or maybe even look like a normal human being when you're recording video but you know this kind of stuff Russians like because the MK Ultra is related to what Russians love to suggest it's crazy crazy not normal crazy talk crazy because in Russia in, to talk about MK Ultra is illegal it's criminal in Slovenia uh, the psychiatrist they threatened you're gonna say you're gonna even mention MK Ultra and a rescue vehicle from hospital already is coming to pick you up you can count on that stuff this is the way it is this is this is what they are here for and you know to, to, to destroy equipment and to do the stuff I will reserve to talk about in the in the following video and it pertains to radiation Okay, in this video, just as I have suggested yesterday on my blog, I will talk about... I will expose the whole thing here about the residents of this place. Okay, um, there were Polish people who definitely did video recorded present residents of this immigration center and they did this in 2004, 2005, 2006. They did. They already recorded back then. Uh, things like this did happen. However, the problem with this whole thing is that it all depends on the Warsaw. Just as this uh, documentary right now I am creating, just as this video, I'm creating is depending on uh, goodwill of the Warsaw whether they want to confirm this information or not uh, is you know I cannot go out there and tell people give the video recording about who was here in 2004 2005 2006 and stuff like this I can't go and do the stuff like that uh, for one thing you know I can't go out and tell people uh, what what to do, what not to do. Okay. Now, what I can do is I can the sa for the same for the same reason I cannot tell Varsho what to do or not. Uh, now, for the same reason, however, uh, I did came up with a good explanation with good witnessing accounts of what happened and. There also was someone else who had a very detailed account about stuff I'm about to talk today. Americans. Americans in the U.S. have watched this stuff. A staff member, the staff members, American staff members knew in details about this stuff. 
you in the US uh, when you were in a Trump team you have audio and you have a video recordings about my presence uh, even about the subject I'm about to talk today about uh, you do have it and you can come forward with it okay it's not really that everything depends here in Poland and Varsha especially and so on it, it, you can it is international thing and you did help me out you pushed in the city Novi Turk you pressed Polish police uh, so you know they it was a, such an arrogant approach toward me when I appeared in the city of the Novi Turk you have folks no idea in, in a police station when I appeared it was a pure arrogance over there it was a total arrogance and so when I did appear over there when I did appear over there at the police station okay so what I can do I can go and I can turn off and maybe I can record this in peace I have lost like this good hour and a half maybe already. So this this is what this people this is what they are here for this is there's no there is no other there is no there is no other purpose to them there's no there's no purpose other than what you what you see right here this is this is all there was it was like this from beginning already and this is the fifth month now believe me if you be around the people like this and boy they destroy to you stuff they ruin to you everything they do whack like this i don't know what you would think about them like this i have no idea i think that i'm not gonna go into details i don't care uh it's just maybe three weeks that is left for me to get probably a work permit less than three weeks i think okay let me continue with this stuff and maybe even place this on charge while i'm recording so i can go and do some other stuff as soon as i'm done with this one i'm so time pressed here folks you have no idea and i'm dealing with with the stuff like this it's not very pleasant in the city of the novi turk anyways in the city of the novi turk what happened in the city of the Novi Turk? Okay, in the city of the Novi Turk, the police had extremely, extremely arrogant approach toward me. That city, in that city, Donald Trump have impregnating, uh, impregnated a Polish lady, and a lot of younger people. Uh, became acquainted with him. He became very popular over there in, the, in that place, in that location. Be right back. It seems to me that Donald Trump became young. It looked like the he became young in in a Novi Turk. He he became in Poland in general. He became rejuvenated with his stupidities, which somehow they were tolerated. Disgracefully enough for Poland stuff that would not be tolerated anywhere else in the world but it was tolerated believe it or not in poland and so when i did appear over there at that police station uh, and in a novi turk those young police officers had uh, again the same age as i am more or less they had a funny idea like 
maybe how I am a little less worthy than they are because they have seen me under MK Ultra and they kind of figure out that also because they were in the US, because they're in this police association, maybe that they can just uh, be a little bit uh, disgustingly opinionated. You know, the kind of a gesture that I am a little bit mentally sick because I talk about MK Ultra, because I because I spoke I have spoken, I have dared to speak into their face and gesture them that I was here in 2005, 2004, 3, 2, and so on. And so what these people like to have is idea about themselves that they are a little bit worthy more than you are and that you are not worthy anything because they are in a position like this and you are Mr. Nobody because you are unemployed and so you see I'm in a uniform and you're a nobody and I saw you like this and because I saw you in this kind of circumstances it must be that I have ability to treat you like a shit. Unfortunately, this type of atmosphere, this type of attitude is present today here in Grotniktik as well. And whether I like it or not, whether I like it or not, it's coming from Warsaw. I'm going to have to send a serious warning signal to the Warsaw. Uh, this warning signal is like this. It's very simple. It concerns a variety of issues. It concerns stuff that I have just mentioned. <coughs> Maybe kind of stuff. Uh, you know, this type of provocations, harassments. It concerns maybe a thug about whom I'm about to talk to you about right now, a Serbian. Uh, a variety of people that were involved in this case. It was not only Americans they knew about it. This Americans were involved on behalf of the Russia because this is what Donald Trump have worked all along for. He worked for the Russian. This guy was a Russian asset. That's all he was. His people, the only thing they had to do is they had to translate for the Russians whatever Russians wanted from me. That's all there was. That's, that's the only task the Americans had. Americans were very concerned about me. They tried to help me wherever they possibly could help. But the only, the only order, the only task these people had was basically to translate for the Russians whatever Russians wanted from me in whichever way Russians wanted for me to see things us, for me to be specific about it. Okay, so, and the third I didn't mention was some bizarre, crazy, insane shit, excuse me for the word S, that these people in Warsaw have also had, like how they also would collect the money, I would get the brain cancer. It was all kinds of anticipations, how I'm going to get sick, how I'm going to have to use medications, how I'm going to be regulated, how... And, uh, and Americans did confirm this stuff, that it would be what the whole thing pointed at, it would be like completely controlled figurine, like a clown that is on a stage, it's just completely controlled with totally other issues from Moscow. Uh, in fact, they would even get a hold of my money and would not even last too long uh, in this world, uh, pretty much. And even change social statuses in Poland, which otherwise they have difficulty with. And that would also help them with changing social statuses of the people in Russia and so on and so forth. It's all connected, seems like. Uh, do not play with this stuff like this because this is going to end... This thing here for me, it's going to end so fast, it's going to end for me, it's going to end for you too. Believe me, you're never ever going to come close to me, not even three, not even on a hundred meters, you're not going to come close to me. Whatever it is that I'm going to be. This is how this thing is going to end. You're going to continue with this stuff, I'm about to talk in the next video. This is going to end so, in a way, you don't want... 
you're not going to believe how bad this is going to end. This is the message to the Varsho, a warning to the Varsho. Do not play with it. You're pushing too far. Stuff today I'm talking about should not even be spoken about. We shouldn't be talking about. This is the stuff that does not fit under what the stuff I should even talk about. This is the stuff that should be investigated by the police. This is the stuff already should be revealed to the public. But because the Ruskis, because the Russians push forward the whole thing, we're going to be talking about this stuff today. Today, the documentary is dedicated to the Ruskis, to the Ruskis, to the Russian Mafia to be specific, and let it be in the style of the Russian Mafia, the way Russian Mafia wanted, let's say, Eastern European Mafia, because it's also Mafia in Warsaw. Mr. Kaczynski, am I correct? So, we're going to dedicate one to these people today. It's like this. It's a female, it's a lady, about the same age as I am. Maybe that she is, maybe 45, I'm 47 now. Uh, maybe something like this. So then you can understand I'm not too happy about doing this video. Probably you understand my point of view. Okay. Uh, this lady, it's like this. This lady, I am not absolutely positive about it. But it might be actually even that I was the one guilty in a way that she arrived to this location. It could be that Vladimir Putin's team, who frequently took me also on the rights to Russia, I would go off in time, especially from beginning when it all started, when they somehow got me to the Eastern Europe. Vladimir Putin have used me for what is a facial recognition for under MK Ultra, they would use me to see whom I would like physically associate with, physically liken, what kind of faces I would approve, would want to deal with. Uh, and somehow Americans and Germans, Anglos, they have approved. Uh, you know, whatever I likened, they somehow have seen as something that uh, would be related to them more than otherwise, you know, that so it would be white, it would not be uh, with admixture of Asian culture or whatever. And that's what Vladimir Putin have used me as well. He used me for this kind of... Uh, facial recognition uh, have assembled a theme of people around him <clears throat> would be asked frequently what about this guy what about this girl what do you what do you how do you see this how do you do you like this do you like her do you like this and so they would they would use this how how do you know and all the time you always gestured like no and this is already like uh, over there no and this is like this and they brainwash and they wanted to get idea they wanted to obtain idea about my view this is not joke this is this is really is it's facial recognition under mk ultra very few little uh, real things you're going to find on mk ultra uh, but one of the most important things about MK Ultra is the stuff I'm talking about right now. Uh, how you associate, how you view, how you pursue uh, other people's faces and so on. And they also do the brainwash and they change people's perception uh, under MK Ultra and so on with stuff I already have talked about. Okay, so I am not really sure whether I did somehow liking this girl maybe in some Russian city or something like this. I think she is in a region over there in Volgograd. I'm going to actually point out the location which I think she probably is from Volgograd, Perm area, something like this. I got to look on the map and, and see that a little bit more concentrate on time back then because she did tell me back then where she was from. I was impressed with her beauty. Uh, this was a young girl, a beautiful girl, a Russian, uh, and um, I was not the only one who was impressed with her. Okay, 
Vladimir Putin also was impressed with her. Her team also was impressed with her. So I'm not sure whether they brought her here or she some way somehow popped up here, but in, in in Poland. But I don't think she popped up here just out of nowhere. I believe I was the one through Vladimir Putin's team who actually have somehow met her uh, over there in Russia. She is by profession a cook. And that would not be surprising that we did hit in one another, that we did bump in one another somehow in some kind of a Russian restaurant. That would not be... We were in a restaurant in Russia, and that would not surprise me at all. One way or the other, she popped up here sometimes in 2004, 2005. Maybe. Huh. Maybe 2000 and 2004, 2005, I would say. And somehow didn't like too much to stay at this place here. Uh, it was not exactly according to her taste. So what she would do is, and she didn't have any difficulty with this, uh, because she was so beautiful, young girl, beautiful girl, who wouldn't want that? Uh, Polish people quickly took her inside here in a street parallel to this center. <coughs> Actually, a street parallel to the center. This is a huge center, okay, for me to explain. Okay, so you have, let's say you have a center here and the street right next to the center, right somewhere in the middle of this, it's known as Gornia Ulica. Gornia is an upper street in English, if I translate. Uh, sometime, somewhere at number 14, I would say, was exactly where she got her first uh, residence here, okay? First uh, Meshkania, first little studio, whatever, they rented her out, okay? It was, it was not a difficulty for her to get a place. And very convenient right here and so on. So she was with these people. So uh, she did give me a green light on that. She also gave me a green light that she originally is from Russia. And she also gave me a green light that uh, she had two kids. At least had two. I remember this very well. She might actually have more, but I know for two. And when I compared the timing, okay, of, of events, because we didn't spoke about this stuff. I don't have... I don't have the information about stuff I'm talking about right now. This is just educated guess. Okay. Because Ruskis love to sell. They love to trade with the people. You see, Ruskis say that they, uh, it's a Muslims, you know, Russia is high ranking. If you look at the statistics in abductions, in hijackings, in human trade, in a slavery. And Ruskis, they brainwash with this stuff. Uh, claimed all along, yeah, it is it is Muslims that, that they do the stuff like this. We see we don't do the stuff like this. We don't do the stuff. We don't do the stuff like this. No. They don't do the stuff like this. It's a possibility that Muslim country, Islam, they do that stuff a lot. They they do tremendously a lot of that stuff. It's traditionally they trade with the females. This is nothing new, but, you know, in Russia, it's Russians, they make these things possible, actually, so these things can happen. Uh, but R Russians, they try to make me feel like almost they are like a minority in the Russia. It makes me feel like when they talked about that stuff, as if they are 10% in the whole Russia. And it's like 90% of the Muslims, they do that. And of course, but of course, if you wouldn't be nice, if you wouldn't do what we want from you, then we would help them out, then we would assist them, then we would just let, the, let it happen. This is just a Russian way, but, you know, this is okay. It's nothing new about a Russian. Uh, okay, so what happens was, because of this, I have to explain this way, because of the stuff I just explained right now, okay, because of the stuff, it seems like the Vladimir Putin team likes Pinyonze too much, money too much, 
I think they placed her on a menu. I think they sold her to a Dagestani family over there, to Dagestan. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be a family that will purchase you. Uh, the money you can get through the counter services of the politician that is there, he may make you a favors. Or you, he can actually get the money, pay you. This is how they might, they might have actually paid to the Moscow to get this girl. Because I just really liked her, was very beautiful, and I was not the only one. Uh, it was a lot of other people that were fascinated with her. And it became a commodity. You know, and these people put an eye on you, and then they want, and this and that, and they put the right amount of money on a table, and you're gone, basically. This is how this is done. And so sometimes, I believe in 2008, from this location here, I have just suggested from Gornia Ulica, Upper Street 14, <coughs> she would move. She would move from there to, I believe, it became habit for her. They started to intimidate her. They started to stalk her and so on. It became very unpleasant for her. She would move to another street which is parallel to this street and it's called Ulica Dolnia. And now if this is this here, this is Ostronia Ulica Street, and this is our center here, our Ushrodek here. <coughs> Please excuse me. She would be on, on this would be Ulica Gornia, this would be Ulica Dolnia. However, she would be at the end of this street here. That's where another street go parallel to this one. <coughs> so she would be in a Ulica Dolnia at the end of the street. Sometimes in <coughs> would move to that location. Sometimes the earliest I would say in 2008, 2009 maybe. <coughs> Something like this. Uh, actually, 2008 I estimate might even be 2007 and would disappear to Dagestan sometimes in 2008 2009 something like this and therefore it's easy for me to make an educated guess <coughs> that her two children and I doubt that she doesn't have more than that she probably have more than that are at least age of 10 so this is an educated guess based on what I have just spoken about. <coughs> now, I did spoke to you about abductions to Kaliningrad. I did spoken to you about abductions to um, Czech Republic and then to the Germany. Because uh, they wanted to make anxiety issues. They wanted to create anxiety issues under MKUltra. This was very important for them. But how can you create anxiety issues when this was this was yeah it was it was engineered like this so I could see how I disappeared from this center here and they had this Polish police uh, we don't know nothing just take him whatever they did this uh, right here in Grotniki they stopped them they talked with the police they let him let him let him so I would understand that in the future when it will be a rehearsal of Anki Ultra so that I would not talk you know like they say excuse me again <laughs> shit whatever uh, I wouldn't talk stuff like that so I would behave properly just the way Mr. Kaczynski would want me to behave right so don't say anything like inappropriate you know just play by the rules by the rules of Varsho uh, by the rules of Moscow, if you like, I rather I rather say that, okay, and so they wanted to create this anxiety issues, but how are you going to create anxiety issues when you had me so many times in Moscow? Putin had me in Moscow. I don't know how many times I was in Russia. I have no idea how many times they had me. They had me in Saint Petersburg. They had me in Moscow. They had me in Volgograd. They had me on many locations. God knows on how many locations they had me. I remember some locations that trace all the way to the Coral Islands on the other side where Japan is. 
That's where Americans were crazy. They were excited. Talk about real estate. Boy, how they would buy this, but the Russians don't allow them and stuff like that. I was all over the Russia. This is just the way it is. So this is a little bit difficult even to create maybe uh, anxiety issues in, in, in an individual like this when you already create so many uh, whatever uh, abduction attempts, whatever, that how he's going to disappear and so on and so forth. Anyway, let's go to Dagestan. Let's go to the house uh, and most likely not of this girl. But her, I would say from her husband's sister-in-law, uh, where I was, I can actually give a description, a little description of interior of that house in Dagestan. How about that? Um, she had a little trouble adjusting herself to situation over there in Dagestan. Just for you to understand, Dagestan and Chechnya, according to the people here, <coughs> Uh, probably is true. This one time, once this was one country, but the two separated somehow because of the Russia, of course. Uh, these people also have, if it's not the same, at least is a, a similar language, Inguesetian language, something like this. They all speak Arabic also, not only Russian, but Arabic. Uh, they are Muslims, and facially they are kind of are related to one another. Chechnya is more, it's a mountain place, and then you have Dagestan that is along the coast. Okay, but traditionally they're supposed to be actually kind of the same people. Uh, I will not forget, uh, they complained that she has to adjust herself, but that she is adjusting herself and that she dis sees things more and more the way they see them and so on and so forth okay so don't say i was not in chechnya i also was in chechnya they took me ruskis did ruskis made all this stuff possible uh don't say i was not in dagestan and i also was in a kazakhstan to tell you and i was in other locations too so under this kind of circumstances yes this thing is filmed okay so she gave me a green light on the first residence, the one right here. Uh, she somehow would not give me the green light on a second residence in the street that is right parallel to it. But she didn't give me a green light because I might even make a mistake. I don't know. Uh, the thing is that when they see that you are communicating with someone, this place is so surveillance, this place, boy. Uh, Mr. Valerio is like like this. See everything, what you do, where you are, who you talk to, what you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to say this. You're supposed to say that. You could even hear that he yelled at uh, the guy from Volgograd, from the Russian the Ruski guy from the Volgograd, the little K, uh, KGB guy, Rost, Rostko, Rostislav. <laughs> he even yelled him because he said certain things and so on. He is like... Uh, it's like a hawk watching over everybody, okay? But this guy doesn't only have a KGB issues. He does have some other stuff, and that's why I am pissed off. Uh, and I have the reason to be. You, too, would be pissed off, okay? Uh, look, I would love to stay here in Poland, have a Polish wife, have a Polish uh, children here, uh, but it's one thing I would not want to be. I would not want to be around the mafia. I would not want to be around the gangsters. I would not want to have gangsters, mafia coming inside of my home, be around me, around people like this, that you can disappear. Uh, they can do something to you or to your wife. More important, even to your wife and children and so on. This is the stuff you don't want to have. And if you want to be somebody in a country... You don't want to be in this kind of circumstances, exposed to this type of stuff. You don't want to uh, have people like this around you. You know, you just don't do the stuff like this. You don't mix food with, I should say, you don't go and eat food in a, I don't know, in a toilet or something. Like this. You don't do the stuff like that. So, what happens is, individual who was involved in MKUltra, a Serbian individual, 
a friend of Alexander Vucic, brought here by the Serbian team. Oh, the Serbs came along with the Slovenian, Zborod Pahor, because this used to be Yugoslavia with Slovenia. And with the Russians, they would bring Serbs here, uh, half purchased just as he had promised he would. Not even two houses away from her residence in ex residence in Ulica uh, Dolnia, uh, in Ulica Dolnia at the end of the street, his residence, just as he had promised. And he also gestured, we would do this kind of stuff, we would do this kind of stuff so people will not talk, so people will not mouth. I am going to go out, try to meet some people, try to get some statement, but this is a very difficult thing to do. Like I said, this stuff depends on our show. Uh, and another thing is, this individual purchased home, If you, if you, this would be her residence here. Then there would be another residence right here next to her. And uh, this is where the individual purchased the home. So basically, one house in between her home, uh, her home, and and where he is. And with this home right here in the middle already gave me a no yesterday. They know me very well. They it would just be no, no, no. We don't know nothing. People are free like shit. They created here the KGB here. Uh, they created a very, very bad situation. Mr. Kaczynski didn't take care of Polish people. He didn't assure anybody so that anybody could just go out there and say, uh, yeah, this and that, or here you have a video or something like this. This thing is not happening, folks. I am not going to tell who this girl is. I'm not going to give not even her first name. The only thing I can tell for 100% is... And I was today here inside of the office. I did try to get the name, which would be the last name from one of the females that got married to whomever they got married. I got proximity of about three families that I'm pretty damn certain that uh, of these three families, uh, one of the spouses is related to the brother she got married to from Dagestan, but I cannot give, uh, you know, I cannot give any definite, uh, you know, say on who this is, because how are you going to even find out what her last name was before and so on? I mean, the one who does have this, again, is Varsho, and they also have it here in the office, which, of course, they cannot give you the information out. But again, this is a stuff, and that's why I give a warning to the Varsho, I don't care. Uh, I got more than enough, more than sufficient amount of proofs. Uh, the stuff where you are dragging the whole thing, like this Serbian individual who was involved in MK Ultra, speculator. I believe he purchased probably home, probably I would say sometimes in 2010 at least, I think. Uh, what happens is, uh, you are dragging me in an area of the people that suggested me that I'm going to have to bribe them. That actually, I'm going to have to pay them money. This Serbian individual, and he did not seem to say to me that he is Serbian. The only thing he did was he opened the door last night when I was there. And he would not give any kind of statement, closed the door, and that was it. That is on tape, I can tell you that. I have the proof for that. But as soon as he did this, I recognized him. He dreamed about two, three hundred thousand euros, uh, and I say probably that got here in Poland sometimes in about I estimate two thousand nine, something like this. Uh, Vucic helped him out. He liked it here, and he wanted. He dreamed about some kind of a car business, maybe a repair shop, something like this. Who knows what exactly? Uh, wash, uh, wash, car wash, something like this. Who knows? Uh, what he got himself into, I'm not saying that this is what he got, but he dreamed about that if he had the money, then he would do some stuff like this. Okay, these are already speculators, this is already mafia, uh, and I don't need proofs beyond stuff I already got. Uh, this is not my job to collect proofs like this. This is the job from the Polish state. The Polish state was the one that have placed herself in between United States of America and Russia and have permitted in Poland 
uh, for unimaginable crimes to happen in the floor of the Poland by guaranteeing to Americans that they will actually admit that this stuff did happen. So the stuff we are getting at right now, this is already very strange. It's full of corruption and it's taken away from me. It's taken to some completely other direction that may not even end well for me. The next video, again, is going to be about radiation, which I have endured in Poland for five months. One month in Poland, I was free from radiation, and that includes Denmark. When I go to the next video, and I'm going to explain to you how also they have done this stuff, and why I know, why I actually have a physical proof of radiation, okay? So I'm not happy about this. You wouldn't be happy about this. I wouldn't want to be a guy who got a lot of money, finally, in the end, was stripped of the money by having a brain cancer, by having, by having a tinnitus, by, by having God knows what kind of diseases. I wouldn't want to be like this. I'm age 47, uh, and, uh, you know, I'm not doing the stuff so somebody can also go and just whack my money like this and do with me whatever the hell, you know, wants to do with me you know, go about it like this. This is not what I'm doing. So that's why this warning to the Varsho, to stop playing with this stuff. Hey, there's just one more thing, important stuff I want to say to this. I am upset. I'm not happy about the situation. Uh, this thing should never go as far as this. This, this thing should stop. What I want to say is I want to give a special thank you to this girl. Uh, know that I am going to take care of you as soon as this thing ends, the same way as the people that helped me along the way. I do not have a tendency to leave people behind. I am a gracious person. I am a thankful person. And I tend to reward people that help. Uh, people that line themselves uh for my sake, I tend to reward big time. Uh, this is basically something the way I do it. For the mafia, for the speculators and stuff like this, I do not care. Uh, they have threatened me also that if somehow I would not get Mr. Valerio in the game, he's... This individual is but everything I would ever want to have anywhere even near me. This is a criminal that dreamed about all the time. It's just matter that I get my money all the time. Just that I get the money. So just as long as I get the money, then we're going to do the things. Then we're going to do this. This is a master criminal. This is These people are so, I'm going to say, they're so well experts, you know, a professional gangsters. Just think about the fall of the Soviet Union and about the Russian Mafia that went to America. They made Sia afraid over there in America. And we are here in the Eastern Europe. Uh, no way do I want to have anything to do with the people like this. And even less do I want to award people like this in any way. This is not the garbage I want to promote throughout my life. This is not what I'm here for. And if I cannot be like a normal person, then I don't want to be then, in that case, in this place here. I'm just going to be very specific to the Varsho today about how things are. They're no good. At this point, they're no good. And I was very specific. I explained in detail why things are not good. So I'm not going to be asking that, saying that, oh, my God, uh, he is not happy about what, what he is not happy and so on. I was very clear, I was very specific. What is it that bothers me and what is it that I'm not going to allow? I'm not going to allow this and you're going to have to do a little bit better than this. If you, if you want, if you like, if you don't want, that's really your problem, not mine. This stuff today I have talked about, we shouldn't even be talking about. According to agreement you have made, you already sh should have given information to uh, about this case to the international society you already should confirm this but you got other plans you got other stuff and so on and so forth so 
that's how we're gonna do this in the next video what I'm gonna do so what I give the I give the I give the I got the positive from her about two children I got the positive about how she was in the street parallel to this one I got the positive from her about what else that she is originally from Russia these were all my guessings I mean these are not guessings these were just statements I have made she confirmed because of my memory and today I have gone a little bit beyond, I give you a little bit extra information and I've even explained about individual who... speculation, speculator that purchased the house over there and so on and so forth. Okay, so uh, I don't need any kind of a green light from the KGB. Uh, I don't need uh, any kind of uh, stuff like this. I don't give any kind of commission to the Serbs. Uh, it reminds me of the computer in Slovenia, which I have purchased, supposedly was a new computer, but was already a one-year-old computer, and I was suggested on Ultra for that computer that would be a fingerprints from uh, Alexander Vucic. And if I would do everything correctly, and I would pay, uh, then not that I would pay him, but if I, if I would do exactly what I am expected to do, and so on and so forth, and that I would pay him money and stuff like this, and then the police would release that this is actually is his computer and stuff like this. This is the shit I don't do. I'm very sorry. I'm not interested in your Eastern European mafia. And this crap that you, you have going on, the next video is going to be about radiation. It's going to end tonight. It's going to end now. That's all I got to say for this video. Thanks for watching again. This is January the 14th of 2019. Uh, I, I, I created a damn good video in respect to this. And whatever Varsho. Thanks for watching wherever you are. Take care. Bye-bye.